this is Andrea. I'm Christina. I'm Michaela. And I'm Maggie. From the BPHG program at Nipsey University. Today we will be taking you through arousal regulation, some techniques to help regulate your arousal, and strategies to help improve your athletic performance in sports. Let's start off with some background on what arousal regulation is. So, arousal regulation is the regulation of your physiological and psychological levels of your autonomic nervous system. In order to reach peak performance, athletes may require different levels of arousal. It's important for athletes to know which mental and emotional states allow them to be successful, and this is all because arousal can be seen as a continuum. On one end, there are athletes who have to be pumped up before their performance. And on the other end of the spectrum, there is high arousal where athletes have to relax themselves before performance. Athletes will fall differently on the continuum, so there can be different strategies that will benefit them the most. Athletes can experience many types of anxiety in relation to high and low levels of arousal. We will be talking about high arousal and cognitive anxiety for varsity athletes and strategies to lower arousal levels. Now I know what you're thinking. How does athletes' performance come into play with arousal regulation? Well, let me tell you that there is an ideal level of arousal for athletes to maximize their performance and skill level. Usually around the middle of the continuum, not being too high or too low, is where most athletes thrive. But there are some athletes who have trouble maintaining this level of arousal and can use certain techniques to help them when performing in their sport. For athletes with high arousal, they often have cognitive anxiety before performance. Cognitive anxiety is consistently high for athletes 48 hours leading up to an event. Athletes who have high arousal and cognitive anxiety often perform poorly in their sport based on their levels being so high. In order to improve performance and have optimal level of skills in their performance, athletes must lower their arousal and cognitive anxiety. The most appropriate time to use these techniques to lower arousal and cognitive anxiety is one hour before performance. Now that you know there is a way to lower arousal levels to get optimal skill and performance, let me tell you some techniques that will help guide you to achieve this anywhere. If you are feeling nervous, shaky, or even so pumped up there that your heart is racing, then these techniques are for you. You can do different types of relaxation, breathing techniques, progressive muscle relaxation, and or meditation. These techniques are known to decrease high anxiety and high arousal levels for athletes to have optimal psychological states during performance. Now that you know how arousal regulation can help benefit the performance of athletes, let me tell you a little bit more about our activity. We have designed our activity for varsity athletes with high arousal and cognitive anxiety levels pre-performance. We are focusing on lowering arousal and cognitive anxiety levels by doing progressive relaxation and incorporating meditation and breathing techniques. Progressive relaxation is a systematic technique used to contract and relax specific muscles in a sequence. The normal sequence that is practiced by most athletes in progressive relaxation begins with contracting and relaxing the left arm, right arm, followed by the left leg, right leg, abdominum, back, chest, shoulders, neck, and facial muscles. For the meditation aspect, the goal is to clear your mind by using soothing phrases. For the breathing aspect, your heart rate will be decreased um, because we will be focusing on breathing deeply in and out. By doing this activity, you should feel more relaxed and ha have lowered arousal levels and cognitive anxiety as a result. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this educational.